Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Blazing Persuasion. Today we're going to review what is on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's do it. So on the very first screen that you see, on the left-hand side, you're gonna have the FaceTime application. This is where, of course, everybody goes to FaceTime. Then you have the calendars because I like to access my calendars a lot. Then next you have photos. And then you have the camera, easy access because I am right-handed. My thumb likes to select the photos and camera very quickly. Then I have my clock. I have my maps and tools. I need that map. My weather for how it's looking today and other places and for future weather reports. And then I have the app store and then I have settings. Um, I also have class tag. Now class tag is where I'm able to conversate with my child's teachers at the school. Then I have IP Pro. IP Pro is my home security system that I have up. Instagram, everybody has your Instagram, right? So mine is I am Blazing Persuasion, if you wanna follow that. And then I have my Gmail. That's not surprising. Then you have Ring. My Ring is my home security um, system. Not really system, but it's just a front doorbell for now. I haven't done any of the cameras or lights. Then I have Amazon Alexa. Um, Amazon Alexa. I'm able to control everything that Alexa does. Then I have Amazon. Everybody should have Amazon because uh, who doesn't shop Amazon? Then I have my calculator. Uh, after my calculator, I have Navy Federal, which is one of the banks that I use. And then I have Bank of America, which is where I do my business banking. Then I have Pandora. All my favorite music is lined up. Then I have Find My Phone which I have set up to locate my kiddos and I have contacts, which I don't even use. See, it looks like it's updating there. And then I have my Apple watch app. I do have the utilities, but I just kind of shove things that I don't even use in here. Voice memos, compass, measure, wallet, home. I don't use any of that stuff. And I have my Google calendar. So everything that, you know, I don't have it select right now because then I have a whole bunch of stuff popping up in my reminders. Then I have RSA. RSA is one of the applications that I use for my work from home business. Then I have Duo. Duo is the same thing. It connects me to my work from home business, allowing me to log in as it does have a two-step process. Then we have Chrome, Google Drive, Google Drive, I like. I access anything to my emails and because I have multiple emails, personal and business, I need that Google Drive. Then I have iMovie. iMovie is, <clears throat> iMovie is where I do a lot of the editing for my videos. So I like to use iMovie a lot. Um, I did just add Videorama, which I don't really use. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to how it works and everything. I have not actually played around with it too much because I do use iMovie so much. Um, then I have House Party. House Party is where I'm able to video chat with my son. Um, I usually had it there before he got his iPhone because we weren't able to FaceTime. So House Party is like a thing that the kids use to video chat and group chat, video chat. Then I have team. TubeBuddy, which monitors my videos and everything. Now, right now, guys, I'm only at 230 subscribers, so go ahead and show me some more love. Then I have, of course, my YouTube channel itself and Y2, Y2 Studio, which was YouTube Studio. YouTube Studios allows you to look at the analytics of your videos and shows your production on how you're doing on your site. Then, of course, I have Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. And then I have Prime Video. Prime Video is where I watch my TV shows, movies, 
while I'm on the go, if I'm out of the house. Then I have my Nextdoor app. Nextdoor app will, gives me information about what's going on in my neighborhood. A lot of these people talk about missing dogs majority of the time. I go here to post things um, about my business and how I work from home. That's one of my angles for uh, obtaining agents to work under my company. Then I have the Dollar General app because I usually go there to get like small stuff, toilet paper, lotions. Uh, then I have McDonald's app because my kids like to go to McDonald's and I found that it's easier if you just go to the McDonald's app, do your order. Oh, it's going to update for me. And do your order and then, uh, you know, they bring it out to you. So then I have Cash App. Wherever I have to send my kids money through Cash App, it makes it so much easier. And then we have Google Maps. I feel like, okay, I have Maps over here. But see, Maps is not Google Maps. So this is actually the one I use, Google Maps. I have no idea why I have that Maps ones there. I have to move it. Then I have a layout where I'm able to, you know, use Instagram to put different pictures together in a collage. Then I have sheets. Um, I don't really use that because I go to my I go to my Google Drive and use sheets. So I technically don't even use that. And then we're getting into uh, my shopping stuff. So I have Instacart, which is our HEB grocery store down here that delivers um, your groceries to your house. I use that frequently. And then I have coupons uh, because I am starting to do my online couponing. So I started to download some couponing apps um, like coupons. I think it's coupons.com and then Ibotta. And then I have Walmart Grocery. Walmart Grocery, I utilize that for picking up groceries. I order and then do pick up. Makes it a lot faster and I don't have to go in the store. Yes, call me lazy. Then I've downloaded some editing apps, which Coco and the browser, Vaunt, Noise. I have not started to use those, but I am reviewing them and, you know, going to see how it may benefit me in the future. Then I have Glitch Studio. I like Glitch Studio because I am able to go in here and select anything I need and edit it. And then I can usually I just screenshot it, like especially if I have my thumbnails, I utilize that to to make thumbnails um, when I have to screenshot something that, that's like a three second movie from Pocket Video. I'll go into another video later on how I even do my editing. Um, but then I utilize PixArt. I have PixArt as well, which gives me some more angles on editing and thumbnailing. Then I have Thumbnail Maker. And I skipped it right over Pocket Video because I mentioned it. But I do have Pocket Video. Pocket Video is what I'm utilizing right now to do a lot of my editing. So those four apps are working together and then and then i have boomerang boomerang of course you know instagram you kind of make short little snippet of a video that's really really short it's like a hot second then i have pinterest um i'm just joining pinterest using it as another social networking tool clips i do not use tips i do not use gift keyboard I don't technically have to go into that app. Health, no, I don't go into that app at all. Netflix, uh, everyone knows Netflix where you're able to watch TV shows and videos, but now I'm kind of hooked on my Prime Video. So I don't even utilize Netflix um, on my phone. Then I have Zoom, which is a meeting app that I use for my business. I have notes that technically I don't use. And then I have Arise. Arise, this app holds our scheduling for our the Arise platform. When we pick our work schedules, we're able to utilize that to pick work schedules or to make adjustments and also see what your schedule's like. Then I have Facebook Messenger, which I do not use. Usually I go in there just to delete messages. 
or get that number off because I don't use it at all. Then I have Facebook ads. Facebook ads I use to advertise uh, my business through Facebook. iTunes University I don't use at all. Pages I don't use. Activity I don't use. Spectrum, Progressive, School Cafe, my AT&T, and Spectrum Mobile. Those are my bills. So that was my internet, phone, insurance, school, um, kids' lunches. That's where I put all my money every month. Then I have mail. Uh, I do not use that mail because I have Gmail. Then I have reminders. I don't go into that at all. Podcasts I don't use. Files I do not use. Now at the bottom, of course, you have your telephone, Safari, text messaging, and your music. Now, of course, the one of the main ones I use down there is text messaging, the phone. I don't really use um, Safari because I do use Google search. If you go all the way to the left of my screen, I have my upcoming calendar events, the Siri app suggestions because... I click into those all the time. It shows me my screen time and what I'm utilizing. Then it gives me my weather report and maps destination and tips. So that is all for my iPhone 11 Pro Max, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it because the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I just love this phone and what I can do with it. It just allows me to do so much more video wise and i'm excited to start growing my youtube channel so like i said go ahead and show the love on my subscriber list i'll return it of course and i hope you guys have a wonderful day